Hey guys, it's Russ from RussHowPTI.com. I was at work the other day in my gym and uh, I read an article which really got to me. Today. I want to talk about it. It was talking about childhood obesity. Now, as you guys know, as a fitness instructor, I, I work with adults but I also work with kids in the gym. Kids sometimes as young as eight uh, as part of a, a government initiative. We've, we've done that over at our gym for about six or seven years now. And this article said that um, if we keep going the way we're going with like in the UK in general with, with uh, our lifestyles, by 2050 there's going to be 55% of the entire population obese. And when it started talking about the, the child population, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it really pissed me off, um, some of the stats in there. You know, it's, uh, I feel very strongly about helping kids get set up for a good life, you know, with their fitness. Um, there's so much bullshit out there with regards to fitness for kids. Um, so many myths out there that no one... It's not that people don't know what to do, it, it's just that no one's prepared to sit down and actually help them, tell them um, how to do it. So in today's video, I'm going to give you, I don't know, three or four tips, yeah, um, just showing basic things, how to get your kid in shape, okay, the sort of things we do across in our gym with kids when they come in looking for help with their parents. So, um, right, tip number one, you do not need equipment to work out, alright, um, there are, believe it or not, in six years of doing this with kids, that uh, the most popular type of workouts are body weight, circuit type workouts, stuff that gets their blood pumping. Kids love that sort of stuff, you know, like a salt course type workout. So you can do these at home, there's tons even on our channel. Um, search on our channel for like body weight workouts and stuff like that. We already got tons, you can use these with your kids, you can do them as well. They're fantastic for fat loss, but they're also great for building their strength. Right? Fantastic. It's exactly what you want if you're a kid, and it's challenging. It's like a game, it's like a well, it's a challenge, you know, and they love it, trying to beat their time or trying to do more reps with their friends, that sort of thing. That's uh, fantastic. Um, tip number two, do not be frightened of letting your child use weights. Weights are actually good, it's very misunderstood. There's a myth that if a kid uses weights, um, or a teenager uses weights, they're not going to grow. It stunts your growth, apparently. Um, <laughs> it, it's one of the, we've got a video on our channel which discovers, uh, discusses this in more depth and shows why it, it's false. It's a gym myth, basically. Uh, but I'm just going to quickly run through in today's video. Um, it all comes down to technique. All right? This myth gathers, um, gathers pace, much like the myth that women shouldn't do weights because they'll get massive. It doesn't, just, it doesn't work. It doesn't happen like that. Um, but it gathers pace, and it gathers pace, and everyone starts saying it, and everyone's frightened to use weights, but nobody's actually explained to them, you know, the, the truth. Nobody sat down and said, no, that's, that's not strictly how it works. So that's what I'm going to do with you guys now. Um, we're crossed at the gym, we, we work with kids with weights as young as 8, 9, 10 years old. Okay? It's fantastic to get your kids started using weights. You don't have to go crazy with bodybuilder workouts or anything. Uh, just the basics. You know, teach them like squats, bench presses, shoulder press, pull-ups. Just the basic compound movements. That's all they'll ever need, really. Um, but it's fantastic to get them into that from an early age because it'll increase their bone mineral density, which means when they hit the 30s, their bones are going to be stronger than, than they would if they hadn't started with weights at a young age. And it protects them in older age against stuff like osteoporosis. So do not let anyone tell you your kids shouldn't be using weights when they're quite young. Uh, I don't mean like five years old, I mean when they get to like nine or ten. By all means, you know, if you want to go in the gym, let them go in the gym. The, the myth about its stunning growth comes from, as a child you've got these epiphyseal plates in your back that are forming, they're growing. Um, if you train with terrible, and I mean ridiculously terrible technique, you're going to damage those, right? Which is obviously going to affect your back, it's going to affect your growth. Um, the same way as if an adult went to the gym and trained so badly that they did themselves an injury. If you're going to use weights, the, the first rule is, if you're going to do it, do it right. You teach your kid how to do it properly, you don't have to worry about that nonsense. Um, and you have to train very bad to get that happen in the first place. So don't worry about it stunting your growth. Um, it ain't going to happen unless you deliberately train to cause that type of injury. Uh, but it, nobody explains it. Everyone thinks they're just going to pick up a weight and that's it, they won't grow. It's, it's not like that. Um, you're only going to, well, you know, you're only going to injure yourself if you train with a terrible technique, um, which is why your job as a parent is to either teach them yourselves or take them to someone who can teach them, as long as they're doing it right. Not only is it completely safe, but um, it's actually very good for them, very good for them, and it will help them shift loads of weight, all right? Um, tip number three, right, this is probably the most appreciated tip 
uh, over the gym when we give this to people because it's not about really teaching a kid what to do, it's also about getting them to want to do it on their own. You know, like, like adults, I mean, at the start you need a push, right? Once you get into it, of course, you start seeing results, you start enjoying it, you know, you, you like the feeling of going to the gym, you hate it if you have to take an unscheduled day off. Kids are the same, but at the start they need a push. And then, depending, this could differ from person to person, depends what your kid's personality is like, really. Um, it could be an incentive like aim for some new trainers in three months if you lose this much weight or um, some new clothes in a tiny wardrobe. It depends, you know, to scale it to your finances. Um, a trip away with the family for a weekend. Um, as long as you ain't throwing it in their face all the time, you know, you've you got to sort of use your head as a parent. Remember, if they don't do something around the house, you can't just say, oh, you're not getting them in three months. <laughs> I'm a parent and I know what it's like and I know you get stressed, but you can't do that with something like this because uh, you've got to keep it up here. The main goal is not them getting a, a new game in three months or something. The main goal is use that as an incentive to help them change their physique, change their life, set them up for a good life from an early age. Um, you just got to keep that priority, you know. Um, one way we also incentivize it at the gym as well is we've got this thing on the wall called the Wall of Legends where the top kid who's done the most, I don't know, it could be anything, the most push-ups on a certain workout in a, in a minute or two minutes or the most bodyweight squats, um, believe me, they get so competitive trying to beat their friends and they love it as well, it makes it a game, it makes it a challenge and there was a kid, for instance, two weeks ago, rather than just sitting on his butt watching the TV or riding the bike watching TV, nice and easy, he came up to me and he said, Russ, see that kid's name there? I know him. I want to beat him at that challenge. And he volunteered to do two minutes full-on push-ups, which is ridiculously hard when you're 10 years old. Uh, <laughs> I can remember trying it. And um, he did it, and he did it with a smile on his face, and he was loving it, he was enjoying it, because to him it wasn't two minutes of push-ups. To him it was, beat that guy, beat that sucker. I'm going to go to school and I'm going to tell him I'm the new champ in the gym. Um, that sort of thing really helps as well. All right, competing, you can't do it on every exercise, like for instance, you can't be silly enough how fast can you run on a treadmill, because they'll injure themselves. Uh, but you can do simple things like how many reps on a, on a certain workout, or push-ups or pull-ups, um, you can do and just that kind of thing, really helps. Um, tip number four, you know, a lot of parents say uh, they, they don't know how to teach the kids exercise because they don't know themselves. Now, what, what this rule is about is um, you have to live the lifestyle that you're recommending to them. If you're constantly wanting to get takeaway food or be unhealthy, but you're telling them the opposite, they ain't gonna listen to you. They're gonna look at you and think, well, why, you know, you do all this stuff and you're all right, right? I'm just gonna do that, it's no big deal. They're gonna follow you, you're, believe it or not, nine, 10, 11 years old, you're actually their hero, you're their god, you know, they'll follow you. Um, if you don't know what to do in the gym, either take them to someone who can teach them, or even better, learn yourself, learn with them. They'll love that even more than you telling them what to do and them doing it on their own. They'll love it if you're in there with them. Um, it's fantastic. I mean, my six-year-old wants to come in the gym now with me. I'm, you know, I'm not going to let him until he's about nine or ten. But it's great when your kid wants to do it, just because you want to do it. Take advantage of that, because it doesn't last forever. Uh, <laughs> once they hit about 13 or 14, everything changes. Um, but eventually they'll come back to you, you know. It's just a few years they go off the rails, right? Um, Hate your guts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if, if they're 9, 10, 11 years old, take advantage of that. If you don't know what to do, start learning with them. Make it like a family thing. It'll become fun and you get to enjoy it with them. Honestly, as a parent, there's nothing better than spending time with your kid. And if you're helping your kid set themselves up for a better long term future as well, with everything that's going to come from physical training and exercise, there's, there's no better way of spending time with them. Plus, you're going to help yourself. You know, if you, if you need help in the gym, you're going to do that too. Um, anyway, thank you for watching the video. Right, I hope it helps you. It, it really gets to me this, you know, you can probably tell, I work with kids all the time. And it's one thing helping an adult. I love the comments we got on our videos of people in the gym saying, I haven't lost weight for five years and all of a sudden I've applied your tips and I've lost like 10 pounds in a month. Um, it's another thing, it's on another level having a, helping a kid. It really is. I can't really explain the feeling you get. It's the best feeling as an instructor you can have. Um, helping a kid. So, you know, if this video just helps one person, I don't know, if you know anyone, anyone who needs any help getting their kids in shape, share this video with them, help them. It's simple advice we've given the day. Um, loads of workouts on our channel for body weight stuff and circuits. They love that sort of thing. I, I Honestly, as an instructor, I'm exhausted when I go home because they're just constantly like, Russ, 
Can I do this one, this one, this challenge, that challenge? And you've got to go around with them. And it feels like you've done the, the workout too. Um, but it's fantastic. You go home full of life, you know, of, of kids. It's awesome. Um, so if, if you can help one person with this, it's more than worth the 10 minutes that I've just spent talking to you guys. Easily more than worth that. Um, and hopefully, uh, maybe if it's your kids or yourself, our videos can help you too. Um, i got to go get my son from school right now in, in 10 minutes, so I'll see you guys later. Go on the Facebook page, click like and get our videos if you want, um, and you can get in touch with me through there with anything you'd like to know. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.